Well guys, it looks like your old iPhone battery might actually be expanding. This is something you guys might want to look into, especially if you have an older iPhone laying around somewhere that you haven't seen in years. Uh, you might want to check up on it because the battery might be puffing up and it might already be swollen. But I did want to mention that this doesn't necessarily affect every single iPhone out there. This phone right here is an iPhone 5S in gold. This is literally a brand new iPhone. It's never been used before. It's never been turned on. And I actually unboxed this phone for the first time ever on my channel like a few weeks ago. You guys can check it out. I'll have the link somewhere at the top right. Um, but yeah, I unboxed this phone and it was brand new and already outside of the box this thing was starting to swell, which is pretty weird considering this was a brand new phone but this does come to show that this can affect pretty much any iPhone out there, whether it's brand new or if it's been used for years. And there's actually a lot of great articles out there that talk a little bit more behind the science on why this happens, but ultimately it comes down to the gases of the battery and not every single battery is necessarily created equal. So some phones might be more susceptible to swelling over time. Even though this phone had never been used before, the battery just was never charged. So it never got the charge that it needed, which was likely the reason why this thing swelled up inside of the box. But yeah, I would highly recommend that you guys check up on your old devices. This doesn't necessarily affect only iPhones. This can affect any smartphone that has a lithium ion battery. So it's always a good idea to check up on them. Um, but yeah, in this video, I am going to be doing a quick little battery swap. I actually ended up buying this little battery off of eBay not too long ago. Um, but I did want to mention this video should not be taken as a tutorial. This is for demonstrative purposes only. If you guys are considering replacing the battery on a swollen smartphone, there's a lot of great tutorials out there. The actual process of replacing this battery was really long. Like it probably took me a little over an hour. So I wanted to keep this video nice and short. But yeah, I literally just removed the two screws at the bottom right here and uh, pretty much just took those off. And then I had to uh, pretty much just prop the screen open using this little suction tool. But one thing to remember is that because the battery had already swollen, the display was already popping out. So I had to be super careful not to pull on this part because this is actually like half of the display. We want to take off the entire part of the display because if you take this part off, it's probably gonna break the display. We have to kind of dig all the way down there and take out the entire white piece. Um, so that was definitely a bit of a process. I kind of had to go on the other side and prop it up from the uh, opposite side. And then I was able to kind of take this little tool and then prop the screen open. Now, one thing I realized is that this process took a lot of patience. So I had to really just make sure that I went absolutely as slow as I could, uh, making sure that I don't accidentally snap any of the cables inside of there, like this Touch ID cable. Uh, but I did end up taking that off because that actually needed to be removed in order to move the display any further. Um, but yeah, you guys can see this display um, was quite beat up and that battery is very puffed up at this point. Um, so this battery definitely is due for a replacement. And since I'm an Apple collector, I didn't want to just throw this phone out or recycle it. Uh, but yeah, it was weird to see that it also had a SIM card inside of there, which was likely uh, pre-inserted by the factory when this phone was built. So this was definitely an AT&T model. Uh, but anyways, I went ahead and took the screen off. And yes, I did skip a lot of steps here because, um, you know, it just took a while to take off all the screws. Uh, but once everything was removed, you guys can see here just how puffed up this battery was. Take a look at this. Now, under no circumstances would we ever want to pop this. This thing is a safety hazard at this point. So if you guys don't really know how to replace it, I would just highly recommend that you guys take it into someone or, you know, recycle the phone, whichever you think would be the better option. But since this was a collectible in my collection, I didn't want to recycle this phone. So I ended up just going ahead with the with the fix here. And for the screen itself, I actually just popped it into place and that kind of just fixed it. But I did that by mistake. I, I didn't really mean to put that much pressure on the display there, but it, it ended up fixing itself and I didn't really want to mess with it any further. So I just kind of loved it as it is. But for the most part, it looked perfectly fine. And then came actually taking out the battery. This was the most difficult part because there's two strips underneath here that need to be removed. And if you don't take out the strip properly, it'll snap and it's going to be really hard to take it out. And especially at the point where this battery has already swollen up, it was really difficult to reach underneath and take out the strip. So I had to improvise. I turned it upside down and I kind of went in the opposite direction. And this did work for the most part, but it took a little bit of time. But once that final strip was removed, the battery was officially free. This thing was ready to be recycled, but you guys can see just how beat up this battery was. Uh, I definitely beat it up quite a bit during the process of removal, but 
it was very puffy and I absolutely would not want to keep this or ever use this battery again due to its size. Um, this thing is puffed up and it's, it's not going to work again. So I ended up actually just taking this to my local Staples to get it recycled and they took it free of charge, which is always great. And then I ended up pretty much just, you know, putting everything back together. I inserted the new battery into the phone and at that point I was able to put the screen back on. I did lose a couple screws in the process of doing this, so be extra careful. Um, with that because the screws are so small so I'm gonna have to order some online or maybe take them out of another phone um, but once this thing was on it was time to turn this thing on and to see if it's actually working and yes we got the Apple logo that was the best part of this video honestly um, it's nice to see that this phone is finally turning on after all these years and keep in mind this is the first time that this phone is ever turning on I mean maybe it's been tested at the factory when it was built but as a consumer this is the first time we're actually seeing this phone turn on many many years later as you guys can see we got that slide to set up right there we're just going to go through the setup process real quick go to english the us i just signed into my wi-fi here real quick um, but one thing here that's kind of weird is that the phone told me that it wasn't able to activate itself which is a little weird so i tried again and it still didn't work but i had a feeling it had to do with the sim card inside of the phone because it came pre-installed with a sim card but once i took that out it activated just fine and then I was able to set this up as a brand new phone. Skip the Apple ID because that's going to take a while to log in. Um, agreed with everything else. We're going to set up Touch ID later. And then we're just going to skip this stuff here as well. It just takes a lot of time to set up. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see here, we are on iOS 7. Finally, we got this phone turned on. And um, it's basically like a brand new phone at this point. And this phone's also on iOS 7.0.4, so a very early version of iOS 7. So very nice to see. But ultimately, guys, I'm really happy that I was able to actually get this phone turned on uh, with a successful battery placement. Uh, I still need to go back and, you know, put the tray on because I, I lost a couple screws. But for the most part, I think the process was pretty simple. But if you guys are considering actually replacing the battery on one of your older phones, always be super careful. Make sure you guys follow all the safety precautions or take it into someone who can do it for you. And of course, the other option is to simply recycle the phone if you don't actually anticipate ever using it again. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out and I hope you guys learned something new. Definitely check up on your older devices. But anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one.